Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? I'm so glad to be here. I am so happy to be here and to bring you guys some great information. And it's been um, a nice weekend. We've had a really nice weekend this weekend. So I hope you guys have had a good weekend. I hope you're like not from California where you're getting a bunch of snow and all of that. Um, so I hope that you're having a good week. It's starting today, Monday, a good week. Um, I know I am so far. I've been in a really good mood today. I've been reaching out to a lot of people for weight loss and to see if they want to try my program, right? Want to get on my program. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to be talking about, um, we're going to do a little makeup. We're going to be talking about uh, facial care, your face and care and cleansing and all that. It is very helpful to know some of these things. We're going to be talking about that. And then we're going to make a recipe in the kitchen. And I'm not quite sure which one we're going to make because I can't decide. And I'm trying to get away from sweet. So I think we might be making a savory corn dish. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to see how it goes. So let's get started on our uh, makeup portion, but I also want to do a little bit of touch up on my hair. My hair, I'm going to use this brush, I believe. My hair, like, um, so I colored it and usually it's like really, really, uh, goes really light color in the, like here, you know, and I stand in the shower and that shower hits like right in my head, you know, and so that is the first place like the coloring goes away. So I'm going to use a little bit of coffee today. So I have a little bit of coffee my husband made this morning and let me see it. And I'm just going to try it. I saw that you could kind of like get some color back with coffee and it's a natural um, so we're just going to put a little in place here. We're going to see if, oh my gosh, I see a difference. Maybe it's just because it's wet, but I do see a little color come back. So let's just see what we get. Because I just blow dried my hair and I forgot to do it before I blow dried. So we're just going to leave it and see what happens there. Okay. All right. We're just going to set it aside. So that's what I wanted to try today and to see if it will actually work. I'm going to set this back there with the brush. So I remember we're going to wash our brushes today too. So, okay. So we're going to do a little makeup. I'm going to scoop my mirror just a little bit closer. If I do like that, you're not looking at the back of the mirror. If I can um, position myself there. That's pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Well, we got to work on today. Mooly, 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 mooly. Okay. We are going to do a little makeup. So let's get started. And we're going to do a little of the glow up vitamin C serum. We're going to use that. Then we're going to use some firming cream. I'm going to use some moisturizer. We're going to use this. We forgot to use that yesterday. We're going to use some of that. And we're also going to just use a little makeup. We're going to use a little mascara. We're going to use a little eyeliner. Not a whole lot today. But some basics. We're going to do a little lip. And we're going to do a little blush. And we're probably going to have to do a little powder because I still didn't buy a foundation. And we're going to use a little bronzing powder. So, and a little eyeshadow. So I think we have uh, pretty much everything out that we're going to use today. So this should be good. So let's get started. Get my glasses off so we can do our work, right? So we're going to do the little serum first. You could put it on your fingers like I do and kind of rub it in. Or you can just kind of look in the mirror and do a little dot, dot. You can do that too. 
either way. And that way is probably a better way. So you're not like losing it all in your in your hand. You just kind of want to pat it in, right? Want to pat it in, pat it in those on the side here on those little, what do I call them? Little crow feet wrinkles or something like that. And then we're going to use a little firming cream. And this is always quite helpful, especially for my neck and my laugh line. And I love to laugh. And I just have to say, Trump got a really big win today, didn't he? So that was exciting, exciting for me. I um, I kind of follow him and like him and all that good stuff. So I'm going to put on a little moisturizer. And we shouldn't have to be ashamed of who we follow, right? People shouldn't make us feel ashamed of one person or the other. It's just idiotic. It's just ridiculous. This way society has gotten, it's just ridiculous. I'm going to put a few of these back so we stay kind of a little bit organized. And then we're going to use a little bit of my um, CoverGirl foundation. And I'm going to try to take way less today because I added to it some little um, oil, some little uh, olive oil. And almost a little too much, but it sure makes your face feel good. But I think the color is like less and less and less. It's really not covering. You know what I mean? I'll take some off the side here. Maybe that will blend in. And we forgot our concealer. That's what we didn't pull out. Darn it. Darn it. Well, we're just going to flow with it today. And we're going to see what we can do with maybe putting on a little powder where the concealer really should have went. And uh, we got ahead of ourselves. I'm going to just brush it in a little bit, make it look a little good. Well, I didn't take anything out for our eyebrows either. I'm going to brush those up a little bit. Yeah, my hair looks a little better. It isn't so like stark white when we put the coffee. So I actually think it helped. And you also want to powder your nose. I remember my mom all the time taking out one of these with the little pad, you know, always powdering her nose. You know, we're going to go somewhere or we're in the car before she went in. She had to look at herself and like powder my nose, put on my lipstick and cute, cute, cute. I had a cute mother, cute mommy. Yeah. I'm sure you guys did too. Made most of us girls interested in makeup. Not all, but most. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'll say that and then I go back for a little more. My eyebrows were a little more blended. But we can do that. We can do that with um, our bronzing powder. So we could do that now. Doesn't matter really. We could do it before, or after our blush. If you don't mind, I don't mind. I got my towel on my a new fresh towel on my leg. I'm gonna do a little bronzing powder. I'm gonna do our eyes. All right. Eyebrows there, kind of side of our nose, below 
our cheek line. A little bit on our neck. I don't want to get too much on my shirt. I kind of like this shirt. It's kind of... Then a little bit on my ears, maybe. Kind of blend in some color. It's warm today. I have the window open. It was supposed to get to 70 degrees. But I don't think it did yet. I think it's... I have to put my glasses on. But I think it's only like... 65 or something. There. That makes my eyebrows blend in a little bit better. All right, we're going to put that away. And then we're going to find a little, little tube of something to brush up our eyebrows. We're not going to do the wax today. It's a little time consuming. And I've got things to do and people to talk to. People want a good coach to get results in weight loss. People need coaches. People want a coach that's going to help them. Because when you don't feel good and your weight is spiraling, spiraling out of control, you need somebody that's been there before, that understands, and somebody that you feel comfortable with, right? I know I have a couple people that I talk to, and they're like, you're so easy, you know, to work with. You understand. You're so good at what you do. You just understand us, you know? And I'm like, yes, you know, I went through the same thing, you know? I took me forever to find the foods that were right for me, you know? Everyone's different. So I want you to be able to eat foods that you like. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't think that's too bad. I think it's pretty good. I still wish my... Uh, well, we'll put makeup way up to our eyebrow. I'm going to put... Because my... my um, foundation was a little translucent since I put the olive oil in there so we're gonna put some we're gonna put some pink we're gonna go all the way up to the eyebrow today okay that's how we're gonna fix that little ditty <laughs> we're gonna use this brush today I don't even know where this brush came from I don't think I ever used this brush before it's kind of nice hmm. okay let's first use it and go underneath the eyes a little bit of lighter color Beautiful. Wonderful. Really makes them pop. Really makes the eyes pop. I'm going to brush it off, and then we're going to go with the, the darker pink. Well, not the darker pink, but the lighter pink here. I'm going to use that on the top lid. We're going to go all the way to the eyebrow. That'll kind of help blend in my blemish. Beautiful. And there. And you could take the back of the brush and then kind of blend it towards the back, right? I kind of like it. Let's blend it. So nice. All right, then we're going to do a little blush. So if you guys like the content I share here, please hit the like button and let me know that you like the content that I share. Also, you could uh, put a comment below would be very helpful to help in the algorithm of this channel so I can keep creating content. And I'd love for you to be a member here. I'd love for you to subscribe, right, to get all this free information that I give to you and recipes and much more. And I'd love for you to be a fan of mine, right? I'd love for you to be around and to 
converse with, right? I would just so appreciate that. My heart would be full. I would really appreciate that. I'm trying to get more and more subscribers all the time. And you guys are the ones that can help me with that. And if you, especially if you like the content, so I can keep doing this. If I don't get um, likes here, I probably will move on to a different platform eventually, right? So if you want me to stay here and just keep bringing you really great stuff, then um, please subscribe so I can do that because I love it here. I love you guys. I love making these videos. And I'm just going to blend in my blush. I got a little bit too much on. So I'm just going to kind of. Just wisp it back a little bit, blend it in with the bronzer that I put underneath and just blend it, blend it in. Not wipe everything off, but make it look more normal, right? <laughs> make it look a little normal. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna do a little, Lip action. Well, we're going to do, let's finish up with the eyes. Let's do a little eyeliner. I like my eyeliner. And if you like the makeup portion in this video, put in the comments makeup. If you like the cooking portion of this these videos, put, put cooking, uh, baking. You know, uh, if you like just the informational content, just put content, you know, let me know what you really like and I can bring more of that. That helps me so much because otherwise I'm sitting here behind the screens, second guessing, you know, just guessing on what you may like. So, and if you need a quick fix to a... Um, weight loss plan, you can go on my website. And there's a plan on there that you can work on your own. It's $79. And you get five videos and it is to help you to get motivated to start a plan. So it doesn't take the place of my plan. It just helps you to get motivated to start the plan, to start a plan, right? To get started thinking and focusing on you. That's what it's about. A little lipstick. I think that looks pretty good. Much better, right? I am more presentable now. And, uh, yeah, who knows? I may have some place to go. <laughs> I may have some people to see. I may have some online connections that I need to talk to. And it's so nice when you guys reach out to me and say, hey, I need help. And it's so nice to... Say, hey, what should I do here? What should I, how can I stop having pop? How can I, you know, get over this issue? Or how can I start backing off on meat? Or how can I, you know, just so many different topics come up. We're all different. We all like different foods and we're all attracted to different types of foods, right? Some of us really are big meat eaters. Some of us like the sweets. It just depends. And I have to give myself a pat on the back for this weekend. Because... The bigger size of me wanted to say, let's go get some ice cream. Let's go have some fun. Let's go get some carry out. Let's go eat at a restaurant. Let's go check out the new brewery. Let's go, you know, do all these things. It's not great for my health. 
And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. Excuse me. I am not going to do it. I am not. I have been doing so good. And I'm not going to put myself in that predicament. And you know what? My husband shouldn't be doing it either. And this helped him to like eat at home. Oh, you know, I'll eat whatever you make me. And he will. He's so good that way. He's like, he's not this fussy, picky eater and complains about what I make, even if it doesn't turn out good. If it doesn't turn out good, I'll be the first one to say, that's terrible. Throw it away. <laughs> Which doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while you try a new recipe and they're like, oh, this is so good. And you make that recipe and it never is delicious like they say, right? It's like, ah, who are they kidding? You know? You gotta have delicious food. And on my plan, I want you to eat delicious food that you like. You know? Not this stuff where you have to buy food from me and, and it gets delivered to your door. Or milkshakes that make you hungry in the two uh, next two hours, right? I want to eat delicious food. I'm going to tighten that a little bit more. Okay, and then we are going to spray our little finish up concealer here. Let's spray this. Now, I watched them the other day, and they did two concealers in a row. They did the eye serum with vitamin C. Excuse me. They did that, and then they did a spray. And then they did another spray before they even put their makeup on. So I don't know if I'm doing it in the right order or not, but feels fantastic to me. <laughs> it smells wonderful. That will up uplift your spirits every single day. Oh, that smell of lemon. It's just like, oh, so good. So good. I'm going to push my mirror aside here a little bit. And see if I can kind of get a towelette here. I'm going to wipe my hands off. And then we're going to go over some of this content I have for you guys. That's really going to help with your face. And some of the things I didn't know and some of the things were quite helpful. So, um, yeah, so we're going to we're going to learn some of this. And uh, my garbage, I can't reach it. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. Let's find my glasses. All right. We are ready. My glasses are a little dirty, but don't mind me, okay? Just don't don't mind. Okay, so uh so most of this reference that I have today, and my hair looks really like wiry. Let me let me let me fix it up a little bit. I curled it or turned it with the blow dryer, turned it under today instead of out. I don't know if I like it as much under as I do out, but something different, I guess. Okay. So most of the reference that I'm going to be re referring to today came from uh, healthline.com. So um, a lot of this was written in, in their article, and the article was written by, I don't know if I pronounced this right, but it's Imram Ellis. I think that's right. Uh, she's a certified dermatologist. So that's where this information came from. So I'm not making it up and just, you know, saying stuff on a whim, I'm trying to see how I can get a little bit better lighting. I don't know, maybe that's a little better. Uh, so she, well, she says, or this article anyway, says uh, to wash your face twice a day, which I usually do. So I hope you guys do too. Like you wash your face when you get up in the morning or when you shower. And then before you go to bed, you take your makeup off and you wash your face again. So that's the way I do it. And so she is 
um, you know, stating that you should wash your face twice a day. So whatever time of day, I don't know, but um, that's what I do. That's what works for me and my routine. So, and then she says, take off makeup first before washing if you wear makeup. And then uh, use a face wash and not bar soap unless it's for the face. So she's saying that like when you're taking a shower, you shouldn't really wash your face with your shower bar. You know, you should wash your face with more of a bar that is made for your face because the other bar will really dry out your skin and cause other problems. So you should always use a, a face bar or some sort of a face wash that's meant for the face. That's what she's saying. So you may look for a foamy face soap to use because it feels cleaner and gives you the impression it's cleaning better. But a word of caution, foaming can actually strip your face of natural oils. So I bought a new uh, foaming face wash that I use from time to time. I don't use it every day, but I use it from time to time. Like after I take my makeup off at night, then I will use it. Um, but she's saying that if it foams a lot, um, it will actually strip you of your natural oil. So you want to be a little cautious of that. Maybe read some of the ingredients and that will help you as we go through this material here I'm going to cover today. Uh, you will learn what, what, uh, what, not what product to buy, but what uh, ingredients uh, to stay away from, what ingredients are good. Um, so that will help us. And I still need to read my I didn't get a chance to read it yet. And I really need to read the actual uh, ingredients in that face foaming uh, wash that I have. So to make sure that it is a good one and it's not, um, you know, dangerous or anything. So she also says, um, use lukewarm water to wash your face. You don't want to use hot water or cold water. So she says, affoliate the skin. Look for these ingredients in, in your... Um, in your uh, foliating skin product, if it's a bar or if it's a lotion, uh, foaming lotion or whatever. So it's, if it affoliates, you know, if it gets the bubbles going and all that. So uh, affoliate the skin. Look for these ingredients. Celiac acid, glycotic acid, glycotic, glycolic acid lactate acid or fruit enzymes in your product and clean for 60 to 90 seconds it will do a good job so affoliating products watch for daily cleansers that have alpha hydroxy acids lactate glycolic fruit acids beta hydroxic acids so cleanse, cleansers to avoid for your face. So daily affoliating cleansers, perfumed or dyed ingredients. You don't want that, okay? Uh, harsh foaming product cleans, clean, cleansers, bar soaps for hands or body. You don't want to use any of that. And daily foliating cleansers, you don't want that. You want something that is um, going to be really good for your skin. Um, so she's talking about molecular water. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, but anyway, as a clean cleanser, um, M-I-C-E-L-L-A-R. And uh, so then she also goes on to say it is recommended to use your hands to cleanse your face. So she's saying that if you cleanse your face with your hands, it's better than if you're using a um, a washcloth or you're using sponges or you're using, you know, those um, those little pads, you know, that makeup pad type thing. If you're using those, she's saying that it's better if you're using the water and you're actually using your hands to to do that because she's saying that bacteria can build up in sponges or washcloths and, and fabric mitts and things, and that's not healthy. And she's also saying a bleach solution should be used to clean facial sponges and things. So when you go to clean your facial sponges, you should be using some sort of a 
um, you know, a bleach that's going to really uh, get in that solution and sanitize it completely. But you would have to rinse, rinse, rinse. Make sure that you're rinsing uh, those out really well. And then, um, and then make sure to also cleanse your neck. So a lot of people do their face. They forget their neck behind your ears, your neck. Um, they forget to do those areas. So make sure that you do that as well. And then pat your face dry instead of rubbing it dry. And try not to rub it, especially around your eye area. And then toners used to reset your pH of your skin so it can be protected from harm and bacteria. So you can get some sort of a toner to use, which is like a chamomile water, chamomile, 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 water, or uh, rose water. Uh, use a cotton ball to apply the toner. So you're just using a cotton ball and you're kind of dabbing it on around your eyes because they wrinkle really easy, right? Especially as you get older. So, and then moisturize with a good moisturizer to protect your skin. And then... Um, how to wash makeup brushes. So we're going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing this today since I'm telling you about it. I don't know if I have to do it uh, on video or not, but this is what we're going to, I'm going to be doing. So how to wash your makeup brushes. You should clean makeup brushes regularly for the foundation and blush once a week. And then for the eye areas, brushes after each use. So mine really need it. Who cleanses their brushes this much? I don't know. Put it in the comments below. Do you cleanse your brushes this much? I don't know because I don't, you know, and um, I should. And let me know if you cleanse your brushes this much uh, because you can get bacteria on those brushes, especially like mine are sitting out and you can get that in your eye. You can cause an eye infection or something like that. So we want to make sure that we are cleansing our brushes. We're not just going from makeup to makeup and, and all that, that we're really washing them. So then, um, so wash your brushes once a month. Here's how to wash them. So squeeze a gentle shampoo into a glass mug or glass and fill with warm water. Swirl and stir your brushes in the soapy water solution gently and massage the bristles. And then rinse with fresh, clean water and squeeze out the water and keep rinsing until no longer soapy or color. And then lay on a towel to flat dry. And then as the time goes on, then you can kind of, um, you know, turn them over and then maybe put them in back in your jar so they're standing up and they're getting air dried. You just don't want to cover them up when they're damp. They'll get moldy or whatever. You want to make sure that they are getting air dried. So I thought that was very helpful today because on a lot of these different makeup uh, channels and things like that, they really don't talk too much about uh, taking care of your makeup like that or really um, what you should do to your face and how you really should wash your face. And I really like um, different information like this that can help someone um, improve their hygiene. It can help them improve their daily care. And uh, this even helps me. And so I'm learning right along with you guys, right? And this really helps me to know that, you know, I need to wash my brushes, my makeup brushes more often. You know, I'm using them every day and uh, I should be using them, you know, I, I should be washing them a lot more often than I have been. So that was very informational for me. And I really enjoyed reading that article from her. And um, so, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go to the kitchen and we're going to see what we can come up with. OK, I'll see you there. So, okay, you guys, I'm back. I decided to go ahead and show you the makeup uh, washing uh, just because I thought it might be helpful to someone who didn't um, didn't understand. I always uh, like it when people kind of walk you through different things and show you what they do. So I'm just using a little, I have warm water and a little bit of this Johnson baby wash uh, stuff from head to toe. I thought that was a pretty mild uh, soap. So I'm using that and that just happened to be sitting in my shower and I'm like, well, what to do with it? I'm not going to use it. So I will use it for this. That would be perfect. So then I'm just going to go ahead and start washing. Um, I'm going to kind of do the eye ones first, the ones that I do for my eyes. So these, this maybe, 
this one, this one, all the little ones. I'm going to do those first that I may have used on my eyes. So that way we're not like um, doing the ones that we use for our, our uh, blush or our neck or our, you know, forehead around our hairline and all that. I'll do those last. So that way we're going to make sure that we're not like transmitting any, um, any germs, right? We're going to kind of keep it uh, simple. So we're just going to go ahead and just swish these around like the article said. And if our water gets too dirty, then we'll make a new one, right? So we just want to kind of wash the brushes, kind of stir them around, massage the bristles. And they should come back to almost the the whiter color, right? They should come back to almost really white. Yeah. Like that. And then I should also do another cup that can we can kind of set them into rinse. So let me get another little cup of water where we can rinse uh use this one. Okay, so we'll let that one sit in there for a minute. And then we'll do this one. And you can see the water already getting mucky, right? You can already see it's like doing its job, right? This is another nice brush that has the angle, the angle on it. It's kind of helpful to get in certain areas. So we're just going to put that in there. And then this is the other angle one that's really great for the brows. It's the opposite. I keep forgetting. Okay, so we're going to do that one. Get that wax out of there. Very nice. I didn't realize I had so many until I dumped them all out. I think I should be doing the um, the handles too. You know, you get other junk on them, like this one. It has like where it had a sticker. And then makeup gets on there. I want them clean. Yeah. Okay. And this one's my favorite one where they're rounded. They don't hurt your skin as much when they're rounded. Like these are rounded too. When you buy a brush, you want to make sure that it's rounded. Like a couple of these, like this isn't really rounded that much. And so these edges kind of like hurt. I think they hurt. And then this one too is kind of like prickly. And hurts. This one is more softer. You can see how it's more rounded. It's softer. And um, yeah, so when you buy your brushes, this one is more like for like blotting or something. This one is really uh, not rounded at all. It's just blunt, right? It's really blunt. So look at that makeup coming off of there. See, you don't realize you have so much on there. You don't even realize, you know. You just keep using and using and using and not getting them washed. And I could see you could get some kind of bacteria growing, you know, on your face. You could start getting pimples. You know, a lot of different things could happen. So we want to make sure that we are taking good care, right? So much better. All right, and then we have this one. I think I just used this one today. It's kind of cute. It has a little flower on it. Let me see. Isn't that cute? It has a little flower on it. It's adorable. Look at 
I've only used this one time. All right, and we'll get it rinsed off. I'm going to pour this out, and I'm going to get a new water. I'm going to put in a little soap. Yeah. A little bit. I'm gonna do this little guy. It's oops. <laughs> Both sides. These brushes like this usually don't last too long. Surprise I even have it in my stash, but I do. It comes in handy sometimes for different little things. both ends back in there they're looking much better oh my gosh they are okay a couple more little ones here this one Let's see how the water gets dirty quick One more for the eye. Might need another glass for the bigger brushes. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just keep them separate. So those are all the ones for the eye. I think it's best to keep them separated out. Especially for rinsing. So then this one will be for the blushers. Look how much that one had in it. One more and we're going to change it. Look at that. Like chocolate milk, like milk. All right, I'm going to change my water. project when you have so many brushes little shampoo or a little light soap mild little soap you could probably use a mild shampoo I would imagine this is one that I use for my brush a lot so make sure this one's clean Very nice. All right, a couple more. And we're going to lay them all on this towel so they can dry nice. That, how much came out of there? Unreal. 
And then we got this little one. This is more for eyebrows, I believe. Not really eyes. I don't know if I've ever used it. Maybe to brush up my brows. I'll leave it in there. Leave it in that one. Since it came from that water. This is going to give us a fresh start, isn't it? going to be nice. Awesome. That water's overflowing. We'll give them each one a little rinse. One last rinse before we lay them on the towel. Look at how fast it changes. And change it again. I mean, that's going on our face, you know? Really get those bristles cleaned. Very windy here today and yesterday. I walked yesterday. I got about a mile in yesterday. The wind was just so windy. And I don't like the wind anyway. So it was like, oh. Okay, very good there. We'll get rid of these. We'll change the water out on this. Then we'll do our eyes. We'll put our eyes, put that here. We'll put our eyes over here. Nice and clean. What a nice fresh start. This is going to be so nice having all of these clean. Very good. All right. I'm just going to move these around a little bit. Give them some air space. All right. All right. There we did it. There we got it, you guys. I'm thrilled. We got that job done. I've been thinking about that for like a week, and it's like, I need to do it. I need to do it. But am I going to do it on film or am I not? And all that. And it's like, oh. So nice to have it done. And then I have found in my little container here as I was cleaning, this one that has not been used. And it also is has the little flower on it. And then I found my other eye, eyeliner I was looking for. I, and then one of these little razors I found in there. And then a little emery board. So it's like, just leave them in there for now. I'm going to leave this here. And then we are going to make a corn recipe. I think I decided finally we're going to make a recipe. Um... 
it's like a corn, a corn dish. And I'm going to be right back on. I have to check the front door, see if I have my ASOS order. We're going to get some more dresses. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys. And one of these days, maybe I'll even do like a little model type thing where I try the dresses on. But a couple of them were a little revealing that I'm not used to. So I still want to lose some more tummy weight before I really get wearing that somewhere. But it's kind of nice to have and to pre-plan a little bit like, um, can I really pull this off and get the rest of my weight off so I can actually wear some of this stuff? Um, but we're going to see. So we'll be right back. Okay, so you guys, we are in the kitchen and we're going to be making a barley corn salad. So I've never tried this recipe before, but I just thought it was interesting because it has barley which is a good uh, whole grain and it is a cold salad. And so you can make it up ahead of time and you can put it in the fridge or you could put it in individual mason jars and you could take it for a lunch or whatever. Um, if you take it you know, to work or, or what have you. Uh, so I thought it was kind of a, a great uh, salad to make today. So we're going to be having this for dinner tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put this together. So I'm glad you're here. So thank you so much for my new subscribers and thank you guys for watching. We are going to start off with one cup of cooked barley. Where is that? And I have a little over one cup because I cooked a little too much, but I just want to use up what I have here. So I'm using a little bit more barley than uh, what the recipe calls for just because I already cooked it and I don't want to use it in some other dish and just all that. So, and then we're going to use one cup of corn and I may, I think I'll stick with the one cup of corn. Let's see here. I'm going to do one cup of corn. We might use the whole thing. I don't know. Let's see. Pretty close. Maybe a little over, but the rest we could put back in the freezer, I guess. Uh, so one cup of that, one cup of corn, one cup of corn, one cup of bar barley. All right. So then we're going to use a half a cup of chopped reddish. So we have some reddish here. I like to clean my reddish ahead of time and put them in jars like this because they last a long time. So a very good tip to do that. All your vegetables fruits they last so much longer in glass jars with lids than laying in your refrigerator with a plastic bag in a plastic bag I should say okay and I'm just gonna kind of chop these small and you can do them however you choose We're going to get our little measure cup here. We need a half a cup. And it's a lot of different things that I like. Like I like barley okay, and I like corn. I like it's going to have spinach. I like spinach, and I love radishes. So that's good. And then it has a little onion. Onions are really good for you. So it's all good, good things, right? So I kind of play off of that and sometimes it's nice just to have a big salad in your refrigerator and then you can pull it out like you can pull out some of it for lunch you could you know pull it out for a side dish at night you could um you know use it however you know there's just a lot of different ways that you could incorporate this into your uh, meal plans And I am a big fan of having food ready for yourself, you know, things that you can grab. That way you don't cheat yourself so much because that's when I find myself, I go off, you know, not really on a diet, off of, you go, um, you know, you choose the wrong things, you know, when you don't have foods prepared and you're like, oh yeah, that looks good. Why don't I have some of that, you know? And just because you don't, 
have anything quick. And when you get hungry, you get hungry. You know, most people do. So you don't want to, you know, have to rely on all the wrong foods when you don't have any of the right foods ready. So it's very important to put foods in place that are healthy, that are good alternatives, that are good um, what that was on that. All right, what are we looking at here? How much we got? Pretty close to a half a cup. How about one more small one? And this radish is going to help it give it a, a little zing, you know, a little bit of zest with the with the radish. The radish is going to offer, and especially I love them because this is the only way that I can have a little bit of like hot because I can't have peppers, but I can have radishes. Why? I have no idea of why. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> but it's just the way that it is. Okay, so we're going to add our half a cup of radish, which is a wonderful ingredient. Then we're going to add a little onion. Well, I should have did my spinach first so I don't get the crying eyes, right? Now, they say when you cut onion, if you don't open your mouth, you won't cry. But I already opened my mouth. How much of this? We need chopped green onion or red onion. So how about we just do the whole thing since we put in the whole barley? I don't want to have all barley and not enough like goods, right? Not enough like flavor. And then just cut it up small. I don't know what that was. There was something flashing on my screen, but I don't know what it was. And then just do the best you can. Ooh, my eyes. Told you I shouldn't have opened my mouth. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think I got a notice. I think my coach is online. He's going to be talking. All right, we're just going to use this whole onion here. It was a small onion. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Let me get this onion peel out of here so I can, like, open my eyes. Let me get this away. Whew, glad that's gone. Oh, I am tearing up. Okay, and then we're going to use some spinach. Mmm. I don't want to touch my eyes. Spinach. My eyes are so watery. Spinach. Spinach. A half a cup of spinach. I think we wouldn't use more spinach than that. I think we're going to use a little more. And you can do it however you like. If you like more of one thing, then... Put more of one thing in there, but all of these ingredients are pretty good for you. So just go with what your heart tells you, right? I was talking to some people today and they're talking about uh, getting surgery for their weight loss instead of just changing their eating habits. And that was a little disturbing to me. I'm still kind of like getting over that um, because it's much easier to change your, it's much easier to change your eating habits than it is to um, 
get surgery, you know? So I want to be cautious on that. And it doesn't always come out the way that you expect it to. And even when you do have the surgery, you still have to change the way you eat. You can't eat as much as you used to. And you have to like be on liquids and, and little portions and all this stuff, you know. And um, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's different. And I remember when my sister had it, she couldn't like eat all these different things that she wants to eat. She had to like eat baby food and she was eating like really, you know, I don't know. It's just a little, a little scary. You guys, I don't know. Okay. So then we're going to have a little bit of lemon. I'm going to wash this lemon and we're going to have a little lemon juice. Trying to get the seed out. There it goes. Let me wash this. Little lemon juice. So for lemon juice, it says two tablespoons. So we'll do that. There we have one. Are we going to make it? <laughs> it went everywhere. <laughs> ah. There we have it. Almost, almost there. Two. So we have two tablespoons of lemon juice. All right. And then we need two tablespoons of olive oil. So we have extra virgin olive oil. We're going to use that. We may need a little bit more since we put a little bit more barley and corn in here. So we'll mix it up and we'll see if we need just a little bit more. So there's one. And there's two. And then let's kind of toss it and then see how it goes. Okay. Um, let me get a spoon. Toss it a bit. It looks lovely. All right. I just don't know if it's coated enough. So we're going to do a little more, we're going to do a little more lemon juice and a little more olive oil. So let's do, because it doesn't look totally coated. It's a lot of stuff there. So we'll do just one more of that. So we have three tablespoons because I put extra in. And then when I write the recipe and leave it in the description in this video, I will just leave the descript leave the recipe as if in the form that it's in one cup of uh, barley, one cup of corn and not like go over like I did. So it will come out for you guys a lot better. But I just didn't want to like, you know, all right, we're going to take this, uh, this uh, lemon and squirt this a little bit more. Because when we eat it, we want some flavor, you guys. We want some flavor. Now, it would be great to add uh, a little cherry tomato in here. That's what I would like. And um, you guys don't have to, but that's what I would like. I would like the cherry tomato. I think that would be wonderful in here. And I don't think I have any right now. Otherwise, I would put some in. Don't have any. Okay. So there you have it. Let's see. Let's stir it around. We have a wonderful barley corn salad. Going to be delicious for dinner tonight. I hope you guys will enjoy it. I'll put the link in the recipe in the description and you guys can go there and grab it. You can also visit me on my Facebook page. I'd love to have you. 
So I will put that in the description. You can visit me on my Facebook page. I will also put the link to my coaching. I will put the link to my website. And I will also put the link to some clean wine that we have that we sell. Let me show you one bottle. Let's see, I'll show you a different one than we had before. Let's see. This one. Clean wine, no sulfates, no headaches. Wonderful. So we'll talk to you guys real soon. Love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day today. And go ahead and, uh, you know, subscribe. And I'd love to have you here. Bye-bye.